Good evening. Preparing for the worst flooding, earthquakes, the end of the world. You never know what the future holds, and today hundreds got ready for what's possibly in store. Local News 8's Taja Davis went to an emergency preparedness fair in Shelley today. Taja. That's right, Chris. Nearly 1,000 people took part in the seventh annual emergency preparedness fair. They've completely filled Shelley High School with different skill building demonstrations and classes taught by local and regional experts and specialists. There's a lot of outdoor stuff, and I really enjoy the outdoors and, you know, just learning more. Emergency minded men, women, and children came in huge numbers to check out the latest gear and most efficient survival tips. The biggest draw for the preparedness fair is the classes that we do, because the classes are all free to anybody who wants to come, and you can learn all sorts of different things, like I'm teaching a beekeeping class, or you can learn about herbs. You can learn how to prepare for any disaster that's out there. Identifying plants, solar energy, beekeeping, how to cook without sun, power, gas, or wood, making a tent your home, water filtration. There was something here for everyone. I think it actually encompasses just about anybody because there's all sorts of different things here. It's not like if you're maybe feeling a little sickly and you need some health or something like that, you know, you can come here because there's a lot of uh, herbs and those kinds of things. Um, but there's also the apocalyptic type people, as you know, you can do that too. My husband and I really enjoy being outside and backpacking is all about, you know, the lightest that you can and the most efficiency. So that's kind of why we're here, just making sure that we can be on top of our game. So when it actually gets warm enough to go, we'll be ready. And Chris, every single class was free. So here's what I'm thinking. Next year, if the snow is worse than it was this winter, we're going to make sure we get prepared just in case we get snowed in because we need to do that. <laughs> you can never be too prepared for anything. No, nope, not at all. all. Right. This fair is perfect for that. Right. Thanks, Taja. And the event uh, we just profiled was just the beginning of the event today. This afternoon's session tends to draw even more people. You can go to our website, localnews8.com, to see what other classes are offered, and they are usually free. Well, Taja mentioned the snow, but I don't think there's any in the forecast. So let's turn it over to Chris Nesman 